Management of a university hockey team was evaluating performance of four women players, Amla, Bimla, Harita and Sarita for their possible selection to the university team for next year. For this purpose, the management is looking at the number of goals scored by them in the past eight matches, numbered one through eight. Should be the only metric, but hey, this is a puzzle, not a real selection scenario. In the eight matches, each of them had scored at least one goal. No two players had scored the same number of goals. Eight matches, 12 goals, each person has scored at least one goal. And no two people have scored the same number of goals. Nice. The following facts are known about the goals scored by these four players. All the questions referred only to the goals scored by these four players. Other goals we don't care about. Only one goal was scored in every even numbered match. Match 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 1, 1, 1 goal. So 1, 3, 5, 7 should add up to 8 goals. Totally 12 goals. Harita scored more goals than Bimla. The highest goal scorer scored in exactly 3 matches including match 4 and 8. Match 4. Match 8 and one more. Bimla scored a goal in match 1 and in, in one each in three other consecutive matches. So Bimla scored at least four goals. And Harita scored more than Bimla. Lovely. I think this is very interesting because total goals is only 12 and each of them scored at least one goal. I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. That adds up to 10. The least combination possible of distinct numbers. We know that no two players have scored the same number of goals. We need to go to 12. I can have 1, 2, 3, 6. Two more there. Or 1, 2, 4, 5. One more here, one more here. I cannot do it without 1, 2. I have 1. Just leave out 2. 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. So without 1 and 2, I cannot do it. 1 and 2 have to be there. 1 and 2 add up to 3 goals. The remaining 2 should add up to 6 goals. Either 3 and 6 or 4 and 5. Brilliant. So I know straight away that my goal combinations are 1, 2, 4, 5 or 1, 2, 3, 6. One of these two. I know Bimla scored at least 4 and Harita scored more than Bimla. That means Harita should have also scored more than 4 or at least 5. So 1, 2, 3, 6 is ruled out. It's only 1, 2, 4, 5. The number of goals scored, we've got that. Harita has scored 5, Bimla has scored 4. And Amla and Sarita have scored 1 and 2 in some order. Nice. An equal number of goals were scored in match 3 and match 7, which was different from the number of goals scored in match 1 or match 5. So for even numbers, we know 1, 1, 1, 1. Odd numbers, we know this one funda. The match with the highest number of goals was scored was unique and it was not match 5. The, the, the highest number is there and only 1. So we cannot have a scenario where number of goals is highest is 3. We have 3, 3 and 1, 2. The, the highest number was scored in only one game. Not the highest number was not scored in two games. I think we should capture the data in some form and then attack this. Right? So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. We want to go to 12. It's either 1, 2, 3, 6 or 1, 2, 4, 5. Two people have scored 1 and 2. We know Bimla has scored 4 or more. And Harita has scored more than Bimla. Or we know Harita has scored 5. And Bimla has scored 4. Only one goal was scored in every even numbered match. So this is 1, 1, 1, 1. Harita scored more goals than Bimla. Bimla scored a goal in match 1 and 1 each in 3 consecutive matches. Match 1, Bimla scored 1. And some consecutive matches she scored 3 consecutive matches. So Bimla scored at least 4. That means Harita scored at least 5. So Bimla should have scored 4 totally, Harita should have scored 5 totally and this is 1 and 2 in some order. The highest goal scorer scored in exactly 3 matches including match 4 and 8. Highest goal scorer is Harita. So she scored in match 4 which is 1 and in match 8 1. So in some other match 
she should have scored the third match she should score three goals harita alone scores three goals in some other match right which means that that some other match is not m2 some other match is not m6 in these two she has not scored harita scored one goal here other three have not scored here harita scored one goal here other three have not scored here nice so bimla has scored one goal in match 1 and three goals in consecutive matches which means we can fill this also this is one this is zero zero we don't know this lovely harita has scored three goals in some one match in either m1 m3 m5 or m7 one of those games harita has scored three goals that much we know an equal number of goals were scored in match 3 and match 7 nice equal number of goals in match 3 and match 7 which was different from the number of goals scored in either match 1 or match 5 so match 3 or match 7 equal number of goals which is different from this match 1 3 5 7 8 add up to 8 so match 3 match 7 could be 1 and 1 so match 1 and match 8 could add up to 6 totally 8 or match 3 and match 7 could be 2 and 2 match sorry match 1 and match 5 could add up to 4 right or match 3 and 7 could be 3 and 3 which case 1 and 5 should add up to 2 put together 2 so the number in which has the highest number of goals was scored was unique highest number is unique so if this were 2 and 2 it cannot be 2 and 2 it should be 3 and 1 this was 1 1 cannot be 1 uh, 1 2 4 is possible 4 being the highest number 3 3 cannot be the highest number so this is ruled out so match 3 and match 7 could both be 1 or could both be 2 cannot both be 3 that's not possible both being 3 3 is not possible because then there will be two goals only remaining for the others lovely so we can use that and say match 3 and match 7 could be both ones or both twos and then fill out the remaining right the match in which the highest number of goals scored was unique and it was not match 5 so match 5 was not the one where the highest number of uh, uh, goals were scored so match 1 should have been the one where the highest number of goals should have been scored here and then we fill out the rest lovely so we have two possibilities that the highest number m3 and m7 could both be 1 m3 could be 1 m7 sorry oops filling it in the wrong place m3 could be 1 m3 could be 1 and m7 could be 1 nice in which case m1 and m5 would add up to 6 uh, it different from m1 or m5 it can be 1 and 5 it can be 5 it cannot be 1 as ruled out 3 3 is not possible be same so it should be 2 4 the maximum number of goals was scored was unique and it was not match 5 so this should be 4 it should be 2 the other possibility is m3 and m7 being 2 each m1 being 3 and m5 being 1 2 different from m1 or m5 totally 3 so far so good everything works nicely so there are two possibilities here the two equal ones could be 1 and 1 with 4 and 2 or the two equal ones could be 2 and 2 being 3 and 1 totally now we know that harita has scored three matches three goals in some one match look at the goal numbers 4 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 only this match could be 4 because this will be 3 these two will be 0 0 this is 3 1 2 1 1 1 2 1 nothing else only this has three goals But if Harita were three here, 
will add up to four goals because Bimla has definitely scored. So this is not even possible. So we can ignore that and say this part is ruled out. I've written on the other way around. This part is ruled out. Only this works because Harita could not have scored three goals in any game. Only that works. Right? So this is the possibility we have, which means Harita should have scored three here. This is zero. This is zero. Harita has not scored anywhere else. Zero, 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 zero. Only one goal here. Zero, zero. Only one goal here. Only one goal here. So between M2, M3 and M5, Anita, Amla and Sarita have scored. Sarita and 2 and Amla and 1 or the other way around. We pretty much got exactly which goes, games um, Bimla scored in, exactly which games Harita scored in. We filled everything out except these three between Amla and Sarita that goes through. Right? Lovely. How many goals were scored in match 7? Only one goal done, as we have found out. Which of the following is the correct sequence of goals scored in matches 1, 3, 5, 7? 1 is 4, 3 is 1, 5 is 2, 7 is 1, 4, 1, 2, 1. Done. Which of the following statements is are true? Which of these is definitely true? Amla and Sarita never scored goals in the same match. Amla and Sarita have scored in M2, M3 and M5. Never in the same match, correct. If Amla scores, Amla scores only one goal. This is 1-1-1. One, one, one. This is true. This is true. Harita and Sarita never scored goals in the same match. Harita scores in 1, 4 and 8. And Sarita could have scored in 2, 3 or 5. This is also correct. Statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. Both are true. Nice. Lovely. Which of the following statements is are false? In every match, at least one player scored a goal. Yeah, there's no zero here. Uh, formally excluded it by saying M3 and M7 could have both been zero and tried to fill the remaining eight. It doesn't work at all. So both in no game somebody scoring zero goals so in every match at least one player scored a goal this is true no two players scored goals in the same number of matches bimla scored in four matches harita scored in three matches harita should have scored in one yeah this is also true number of matches this is also true which of the following statements is are false? Both are true. None of the statements is false. Choice A is the correct answer. If Harita scored goals in one more match as compared to Sarita, that means Harita scored in three, Sarita would have scored in two. Of that means Sarita should have scored in two, three, or five. Two of them. Amla scores one goal, Sarita scores two. Which of the following statements is are necessarily true? Amla scored goals in consecutive matches. No, Amla scores only one game. This is not true. Sarita scored goals in consecutive matches. No, not necessarily. She scored in M5 and M3, M2 and M5. Not true. Necessarily true? None of the statements. Neither needs to be true. First one is necessarily false.